Hey everybody, Maction here, and music is an interesting thing in this digital age. See, the zeros and ones of your Digital Sticks Greatest Hits album are turned into an analog signal by the digital signal processor that is built into your phone or music player. And that now analog signal is sent to your headphones, and the magnets and coils in your headphones turn that into the music you hear. Now, this is a process, and it has many points along the way, and a bottleneck at any of these points will hamper your sound quality. The best speakers in the world cannot improve a bad quality recording, and even good quality music sounds worse on cheap headphones. These examples are obvious and we've all experienced it, but what about if you have a high quality digital album, amazing headphones, and a meh digital signal processor? The end result will be a poorer quality than your investment would warrant. For basically all of us, cracking open our phones and upgrading the digital signal processor is out of the question. Last month at the International CES, I met with High Resolution Technologies. They presented an aftermarket digital signal processor, dubbed DSP, for use with your existing phones. It's about the size of my thumb and almost non-existently light and it's designed to work with phones that run Android 4.4 or above, they recommend Android 5.0, and iOS devices above iOS 6. You plug it in via the micro USB or lightning connector on the phone, and plug your headphones in turn into it. Now I was able to take one home with me, and I've played around with it a bit. Let me tell you what it can and it can't do. It can keep your phone's processor from being the bottleneck, so if you have good headphones and a quality recording, it will improve your experience quite a bit, as a matter of fact. And for reasons that I explained at the beginning, it can't make a $10 pair of headphones perform like a $500 pair. It also can't make lossy audio samples sound like lossless audio samples. This product is definitely aimed at people who have invested in quality headphones and digital music, and who want their player to keep up with the rest of their investment. Now the DSP is going to go on sale later this year, but if you want to pick one up early, they are selling pre-orders through their Kickstarter. I'll of course put a link in the description below. But I figured this was an important thing to address because there seemed to be some amount of confusion about how exactly it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like goes a long way. Clicking on any of the videos will take you to a corresponding playlist for conventions, reviews, tutorials, and even Android games. And be sure to be subscribed so that you will be notified of new videos as they come out. Thanks again, and I'll see you around.